So to solve all three parts of the question, we're simply going to use the thin lens equation right here. So for part A, we have to locate the image when the object is at 20 centimeters. So we'll go ahead and substitute that variable in. We know that the focal length is 10 centimeters. So if we do our math here, we'll get that the image is 20 centimeters. Now we have to find the magnification. So we know that the magnification is negative Q over P, and we'll find that we'll get a magnification of negative one. So because Q is a positive value that is a real image and because the magnification is negative it's going to be an inverted image now this wouldn't be complete without knowing what the ray diagram looks like now it doesn't ask to draw the ray diagram but i want to show it to you so we truly understand what these numbers mean. So this is what the ray diagram of these values will look like. And now, of course, they're not the exact values, but this is a general view of this situation right here, where the object will be over here. And we have our rays going through the focal point, through the radius, and coming in parallel. And when they intersect, it forms the image on the opposite side. This is a real image, but as you can see, it's also inverted. So for part B, we'll go ahead and uh, plug in all the numbers, but we'll see that the image is equal to zero. And when the image is zero, the magnification is also zero. So no image forms. So hold on, how can this be? Well, we have to look at the ray diagram and the ray diagram will look like this. So when the object is placed right at the focal point of the lens, no image will form because the rays are going to come in parallel. And when they're parallel, there's no intersection. So no image ever gets created. The image is at infinity. And for part C, when you go ahead and do all the math, you'll find that the image is a negative 10 centimeters and the magnification is a positive two. So because the image is negative, it has that negative sign convention, it is a virtual image. And because the magnification is a positive two value, it's going to be upright. So a ray diagram would look something like this. So notice that the object has to be inside of the focal point. This will create a virtual image rather than a real image where a real image would form on this right side, but because it's virtual, it's going to form behind the object.